so glad you could be here for another great episode of The Broadway Show. I'm Tamsin Fidel, so let's get started. Tony nominee and Emmy Award winner Laura Linney is back on Broadway alongside Tony nominee Jessica Hecht, starring in Summer 1976. It's the moving and insightful story of an unlikely friendship formed over one fateful summer. I sat down with Laura Linney and Jessica Hecht. Middle of rehearsal right now, but I want to jump in to, uh, to talk about summer of 1976 and where you begin to get these characters. We were all there, younger, mm -hmm. but we were all there, so where do you go? It's a really good question, I must say. Your first move is to go to some place that is um, just sort of intuitive and internal, and then the language starts to tell you a little bit more about how to chart your your journey. I feel the way this writing works is on a very, very deep level of our memory of becoming like who we are. They they um, start to talk in this way that seems very uh, grounded in that moment in time. You know, the period of time and the culture is certainly running underneath all of it. And then it's just fun to think about. You know, it's just fun to make lists of all those songs yeah. and the memories of how things smelled back then, the, the colorful nature of clothing, what clothing was before it all went black yeah. in the yeah. 80s, you know, yeah. which it just did, it all went yeah. black, and what culturally was so different then than now, and also than what is exactly the same. Talk about that. Talk about what is the same, because I think that that's really interesting, mm -hmm. all that time that's gone by, all the experiences mm -hmm. that we've had, but there are still some threads yeah. that are the same. Well, I think friendship is still the same. Yeah. Friendship is friendship. Female friendships are extremely deep and it can really transform you. That's the thing that stays the same. I feel like female friendships, especially for me, like I, hit, I hit 50 and all of a sudden those female friendships, and my mother had told me that before she died, they were gonna be very important to me yeah. someday. I see that now. Do you feel that now in your own lives personally? Oh, sure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, they're witnesses to your life. Yeah. You know, they know the parents who are no longer alive. They know where you've stumbled and where you've done well and how you've changed and how you've improved yourself or, you know, they're, it, it's, a, it's a witness. That's a beautiful way That's to say it. That's a really beautiful yeah. way to say it. And that also reflects the idea that a great friend doesn't look at you uh, with judgment, that they actually understand. Yeah, yeah. Some, well, there are yeah. moments. <laughs> <laughs> Moments, but yeah. then they kind of yeah, sure. But they they know they know so much of you. Yeah, yeah. they know that yeah. you know whatever annoying bad part of you yeah. that they may experience is a small part. Is a small and, part and is worth getting to the better. Part. Yes, you yes. Know. Now uh, a two person versus a one person that I think you did last time that you were on Broadway. <laughs> this is Jessica's question. This is your question, guy. Go ahead and ask. We, yeah. <laughs> so it is the question of well, if it doesn't go well, I only have myself to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be yeah. actually curious, did you rely on the writer and the director almost as your scene partner with Lucy Barton? It was the language. Mm -hmm. It was, the language was my partner. Mm. But I think doing a one-person play or a two-person play, we'll see, but I, I'm thinking you have to be very kind to yourself because things are going to go wrong. You are going to mess up. It is bound to happen. Mm -hmm. and. You can either really just beat yourself up about it, and then it will affect the rest of the work in a very negative way. Or you have to give yourself the permission to not be perfect. You have to allow yourself to stumble, mm -hmm. and that it's not the end of the world, and there's a process, mm -hmm. and this is where you are in the process. And, <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like if there's a yeah. lesson though that we ever teach somebody coming up behind us, that's it. Because I think early so. in life yeah. we don't we don't want to see our imperfect. We don't no. want to allow yeah. ourselves oh, no. to it's, And yeah. it's it's yeah. it's you don't you don't you know if you're perfect, you have nowhere to go. I mean, you just you've just yeah. stopped growing yeah. instantly. So you have to sort of befriend the things that are really wrong and that you know are probably going to go wrong. Yeah. And like, okay, so then how do I deal with it? You know, the, the thing that's great about is about this, and we've talked about a lot, is, you know, is we're doing this together. So I think we're guiding each other along the way, which consequently makes us invested in each other's work as well. Okay, some items from 1976 that we missed that we cannot get today. Love's Baby Soft and My, my Fresh Lemon. There was a shampoo that God knows what chemicals was in that now, but it was a, <laughs> I think it was a Fabergé wheat stalk. 
shampoo, and it had a it had a certain um, smell to it. It was right, kind of like right. light amber color, it looked like maple syrup yeah, almost. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. That. yeah. That was really that good. was great. Mm -hmm. The lip product. Bonnie yeah. Bell yeah. lip yeah. smackers. Yeah. Bonnie Bell. Yeah. yeah. What did you do today for our family? Wendy. Do you miss Wendy? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I miss Wendy. <laughs> oh, her. <laughs> I know you're not Wendy. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, I, I do, do too. I miss, I miss all those people. I miss the, that was a tremendous experience. And I loved it. And I loved playing her because she was just such a mess. And <laughs> you know, there were so many things wrong with her. Um, so, I, so I do miss her. I've also never played anything that long. Oh, really? You know, I've never, oh, you know, know, it was, it was five years <gasps> and I've, I've never, I've never been involved with something for such a long period of time.